Hey guys, uh, this is the new mod. I decided to get the steering wheel controls with the aux auxiliary buttons. Uh, my car normally has blank buttons like this because I don't have this, which is they're normally for adaptive cruise control if you have it, which I don't. So what I decided to do is get the auxiliary buttons, which with if you have a taser module, you can remap them to other functions. So uh, this is going to be a little how-to vid to help you guys out and also uh, explain a little. So the first thing you're going to want to do is probably roll down your windows before you disconnect your battery, at least I did, and then disconnect the negative. It takes a half inch socket and just push it aside and then when you go back inside, uh, first thing is you're going to want to remove this little triangular cover on the back of the right paddle, which gives you access to the torques in there. I believe it's a T15. So you're going to want to take that out. Now I highly recommend putting a towel under the airbag module horn uh, because when you release it, it'll scratch up your center underneath it. So there's these holes, one on each side to release the airbag. You're going to want to take like a thin Allen wrench and find the little tab and it'll have tension. It'll feel like a spring when you're pushing on it and it'll, it'll pop that side off and you have to do it to both sides. Uh, then you're going to unscrew uh, these two, or this screw right here, just the right side. Uh, that's a T15 also. And then once you get done with that, you're going to want to go around the back and there's another one right there also screwed in from the back. So you're going to take that out uh, and then there's just one plug with a little uh, catch on it. So you have to push in the little pin, unplug it, and then it just pulls off, pulls away from the steering. Uh, now there's two black Torx T15s holding uh, the module into the little bezel. So you're just going to undo those two screws and then there's three little uh, tabs holding the bezel on. So you just have to pry those away with your fingers. They're real loose, weak. You can just undo each one and pry it out of the little uh, bezel holder. And then you're just going to put the new one back in and put the screws back in. So always take your time with this stuff. Um, don't be in a hurry. It's easy to scratch your interior up with tools, laying stuff down in the wrong place or trying to hurry. So eh, just take your time. Uh, once you get that done, you're going to just put it back in where it was and you're going to plug the little plug back into the steering. It only fits on one way and get it to engage the little catch on it. And then this little wire to it, you're going to want to tuck back behind the silver uh, tab there like it was. You can always look at the other side to see how it is. Uh, keeps it out of the way from the airbag module and wiring back there. Uh, and then you just uh, just put the screw back in on that little silver arm. Uh, put the airbag back on. You just push it on. It snaps into place. And then you're going to put the screws back in the rear put the cover back on and that's it. So what this allows you to do now if you have you have to have the taser module plugged in for these functions to work uh, some things on the taser you don't have to have it plugged in for them to work and some you do. Line lock, uh, light show from the fob and button remapping it always has to pl be plugged in for these to work these functions. So just go to the audio screen on your EVIC in the dash. 
Uh, so you just hold left button and you press the button you want to remap and it'll say no function and you just keep pressing it until you get it to the function you want it to perform. Uh, it'll go through the light shows and the ESC off and the launch mode and stuff like that and I put mine as the three drive modes. I mapped mine to um, sport, track, and custom on my auxiliary buttons. You can also remap your original sport button because when you have the taser module on and the SRT functions turned on, so you get track mode, which is what most people buy it for, your sport button doesn't work anymore on your dash because SRTs don't have a sport button. Well, with this plugged in, you can have it function again, either as a sport or another function. So that's up to you, but it's nice to have my sport button working again. And now I have the drive controls, uh, the drive modes, right on my steering wheel, which I think is pretty badass. Really, really nice and handy. Uh, also, these drive buttons work just like your original sport button. So if you're in sport and you hit sport again, uh, it goes back to default. If you're in track and I hit the auxiliary button for track again, it goes back to default driving mode. And they all function that way, so that's awesome. So you can always go back to normal just by pressing it again. So there's uh, install instructions also on Z Auto Tech's website. I'll put a link below as well as a link for the taser module. Uh, I haven't done a full overview of the taser module. It's, it would be kind of a long vid and other people have done it. Uh, if people really want me to, I could, but I haven't so far felt the need. Um, but you can go through and, and see some of the screens here that I mean, it's really nice having track mode. If you haven't driven with track mode, I highly recommend it because it's freaking mean. Uh, the pedal's more sensitive. It shifts faster and harder. I mean, it's aggressive. So, uh, so this video also functions pretty much as an install for paddles if you want to switch to the longer, uh, the taller SRT paddles. Uh, the only difference is instead of unplugging the cruise control module that I just installed. You would just pull it out of the way, unplug the paddle, and then pull it out, put the other paddle in, plug it in, and because it goes behind those buttons, so they do have to pop off to be able to, to root it through. Otherwise, uh, it's pretty much the same install, and uh, if you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments, but that's about it for now. Catch you guys later.